Good morning. Today, um, we're still in the book of Exodus in our lectionary reading for the Old Testament. Uh, last week, we uh, talked about Passover on Sunday, and we talked about how God prepared them to leave, and there's the final plague, and then everybody left. And now they're out in the desert, and I love the words for the passage this week. As Pharaoh drew near, the Israelites looked back, and the Egyptians were advancing on them. Now, this is a great story in the Bible. I mean, it's one that, um, you know, people have tried to make it be everything in the world, but what it is, um, documentaries have said things happened at the Red Sea, but before we get to the Red Sea and before the waters part and people walk through, um, I think the thing that is the most uh, amazing to me and, and the neatest thing is how God went before them as a pillar of cloud in the day or as fire by night. And as, as God went before them and led them, they they trusted that and, and that kind of took away their fear. You know, if you're, if you're looking at someone, if you're driving down the road and, and you're following somebody in front of you, it kind of takes away your fear that you might get lost because you know that they know where they're going. And, and maybe that was what they experienced while they were in the wilderness. But when they come to that place, when everything before them is just the water, and Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the waters part, and they walk through. What an amazing story of faith. And then what the Egyptians said, when their chariot wheels started to clog and when everything was going on all around them, they said, let us flee from the Israelites, for the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. I really think that's where we always want to be. We want to be in a place where God is on our side and God is fighting for us. And I think that happens when we follow him, whether it's a pillar of fire by night or a cloud by day, or whether it's us taking our Bibles and opening it up and seeing where God wants to lead us and what God wants us to do and following that. But I believe that as we follow God and we do what God wants us to do, we'll find that God is fighting for us against the things that come against us. May God lead you and may God lead me in each and every day as we battle against pandemics, um, the push of the world to change us to be something that God doesn't want us to be. And may God fight for us as we fight against the evil in the world. God bless you and have a great day.